Hey everyone, welcome back to the NASCAR Fit and Tape Chase for the Sprint Cup for the fourth race of the chase. The first race of the round of 12, we are tackling Charlotte. And last week, I will say it was the finish. I wish I had it back, but hopefully post our Martin remembers to show you guys what happened coming to the white flag. And yeah, I'm pretty sure on the screen it shows you what happened. I ended up on the podium. So, but luckily, with our first two wins at Chicago, New Hampshire, that, that was still good enough for me to move on to the round of 12. And as, and as you see on the screen, these are the guys that move on to the next round along with me and Kyle Busch, who won last week. It's Kevin Harvey, Matt Kenton, and I just mentioned us two. Joey Legato, Casey Kane, Tryhard Jr., Greg Biffle, Tony Stewart, Jeff Gordon, Ricky Sanders Jr., and Martin Truex Jr. And the guys that got booted were, I'm trying to remember, it was Ryan Newman, Michael Brutes, All Guyer, who won the most races, and I believe AJ Allmendayer. So those are the four that got booted out, and these are the guys that, that moved on. And we got Kansas, or today, next week, Kansas, and Talladega. So the goal in this round for me is to get locked in before Talladega, because Talladega, anything can happen. So, that's going to be the goal. We're going to try to get locked in before Talladega. Which, luckily for me, I got two opportunities. Today and next week in Kansas. Anyways, as far as the paint scheme, I mean, this past week it was the 4th of July, so we're going with the America scheme. And so, yeah, without further ado, I don't know why my controller ain't working. Control don't want to cooperate, apparently. Let's try to take the... There we go. Let's try to take that out. Oh, son of a bitch. Got it. Alright. Alright, so, anyway, without further ado, we're going to jump straight into Charlotte. And, yeah, hopefully we get locked in to the round of, the round of eight today. Or next week. So, that's the goal. Anyway, without further ado, let's move on to Charlotte. Alright, so here's what we're going to go with for today. 100% um, difficulty. Obviously, we're going to practice 100 laps, like I thought so. 100 laps. Times 2 on tires and fuel, cost of the black flags, and full damage, because we're a fucking Hall of Famer. So, we're going to accept the changes. And so what we're going to go with for this race is... I think for what I did, for what I remember, I think I went with just pit road adjustments. So I'll show you what the setup looks like. Alright, so here it is. Here's the setup. Uh, the, only, I, the only thing I change is the wedge. It's down like three and a half rounds. Obviously, the brake bias, the grill tape, the brake bias is as low as it can go. I don't think I changed anything here from what I remember. And I, I know I changed some of the tires. So this is what I changed. And it seems pretty decently, so... That's what we're going to go with. And I think for Kansas, it's probably going to be the same pit road adjustments. And all that. And the assists, for those who don't remember what the assists look like, here they are. And without further ado, I'm just going to jump in. Get a feel for the car. Run some practice laps. Let's see what happens. Again, the very first race of the round of 12. Remember, shock on the field. If I win this race, I advance to the round of eight, starting at Martinsville in three weeks. And remember, the goal for me is to get locked in early. So here we go. First race of the round of 12 is underway. Alright, here we go. 100 laps here at Charlotte. Again, first race of the round of 12. 
Remember, if I get locked in, I'm on to the round of eight. And the goal is to get locked in early. That's been the goal. In the round of 16, it's going to be the goal here. It's going to be the goal when I get to the round of eight. If I ever get that far. It's to get locked in early just so I have to worry about the last race. Thinking I have to win. And the fuel window here is about 20 to 25 laps from what I did in practice. So... We're gonna, well, we are going to pay early for the first stint, just so we can gain some trap position. We are going to pay early, because I think that's that's our strategy. We are not going to wall pop what happened last week. That cost me the win at Dover. We're not going to have that happen again. And yet, it's a longer race. It's 500 miles, so a lot can happen. We're just going to take our time early, figure out what the car can do in dirty air. So right now this is all a learning curve, see what the car can do in dirty air. But we got a long way to go, I don't know what happened to Wise, but a lot can happen early. And obviously, for the first, for the first stay on pit road, we're going to pit as early as we can, that's going to be the strategy. That's always been the strategy for like the first green flag stop. Well, I'm worried about them brake checking, so I'm going to do the Yeah, there it is! The Michael Dow. They got one all the way to the grass to avoid that. Nobody's going to pull over and make it easy for us today. Got to go get it. Well, I know, crew chief. I'm well aware of that. Good low. Dagger Patrick getting loose up there ahead of me. Brad Kozlowski. Oh! Okay, I'll take it. Not what I wanted, but I'll take it. Usla right in front of Danko. No wall pop from Olga, who got eliminated last week, which I'm happy nice about him not wall popping, but we're up to 33rd, five laps, no problem. Again, we're just going to take our time, not be aggressive, even though the AI in this game are aggressive. Oh, we can pull up here. Yeah, we're going to pull up, slow that momentum. We're just going to stay on the bottom lane. Don't get up to the outside, because that's the checkup lane. Hopefully, all race long, we'll get into the checkup lane. Brad Kozlowski, pretty sure. Oh, look out. I saw the guy checking up. Luckily, I, I dodged it. And we get by him anyway. We're up to 28, going for, or going for 28th on Regan Smith. And again, we're going to stay on the bottom. Oh, boy! Okay, we dodged the minor bullet. Not the way I wanted to go, but it's all right. It's early in the race. But luckily, once the first pit stop happens where I pit early, I'm going to be out of this mess. So, might as well be in it now and then later. Yeah, they check out a lot in the bat, but luckily when we pit early, we don't have to worry about this again. Cause we're gonna gain a lot of spots when we pay early. I just messed up turn three. And now I'm in the checkup lane. Well, turn one, it's not the checkup lane, it's turn three. Gary need Michael Walter, there we go. Get 34th back. And then we're just gonna slide up in front of him. Oh, not quite, not the way I wanted to. And like I said, right here's the checkup lane. You thought about it, huh? Three wide, three wide, you're in the middle. He really thought about pulling down in front of me. Right, all clear, bud. He really did, I'm telling you. Chad Yaley, okay, let's go find you. I thought it was an absolute Chad. He almost he almost thought about pulling down in front of me. <laughs> Luckily he did it. We're still in 33rd, but hey, we got a long way to go. It's a long race, so anything gonna oh they're gonna check up up here. Dick, really? Alright. Alright, we're up to 30 seconds. Not what I want, but I'll take it. Oh, there's a checkup from Legato! Luckily, I saw that coming. Oh, jeez. I saw the checkup coming. Luckily, I was prepared for it. I hope all guy runs the bottom. I don't want him to get stuck on the outside. Thank you. I can follow him. Ooh, that was close. 
Alright, we have 90 laps to go here. So 10 laps in, we're up to 31st. We're about halfway through our fuel cycle, about halfway okay. through. Nice. Nice. We're having a fuel window here, it's about 20 to 25 laps. On times two with what I did in go practice. Low, go low. So we'll see what, what plays out here. Sorry! My fault! Alright, up to 27, not what I wanted, but I'll take it. And it looks like we're probably gonna relax for a little bit. Alright, just like that, one lap later, we have caught Cole Witt and Trevor Bain. We're gonna go right to the inside, it's the 25th place, we're gonna stay right on the bottom. And we're gonna get right by them both. Alright, up to 25th. Cars handling great. And let's chill some more. Here we go to the inside of Larson. checked out. We're going to take full advantage of the opportunity. Up to 24th. We're going to pull it right in front of him to slow him down. And up to 24th. Perfect. We're taking our time, moving up to the field, not being aggressive. Well, the AI will be aggressive, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to take my time. We got to pin about five laps as far as the earliest to pit. And again, we are going to pit early to try to get out of this mess. That's going to be the strategy. It has been all season to pit early. Hard pushing up, but yeah, like I said, once I get pit early, I'm going to be out of this mess. I'm going to be like in the probably in the top ten. I don't know about lean, but probably in the top ten. But like I said, this is a long race. A lot can happen. So anything can happen. Remember, if I win this race. Remember, if I win this race, I advance to the round of eight. That's what I like to do, is to get locked in early to the next round. Ryan Vickers! Up there. I think I eliminated. Not entirely sure, but we're going to take our time here. I think that's Martrix Jr. Yep, Martrix Jr. He's in. He barely got in. He's 25 below, but he barely, he, he barely got moved on. To the next round of the chase. Oh boy! Ah, so damn slow. I can't wait to be out of this mess. Oh boy! <laughs> I'm glad I didn't, I'm glad I didn't wall pop. Remember that cost me a couple weeks. Remember that cost me last week. The win was wall pop, and that cost me last week. Yeah, I can't wait to pay early just so I can be out of this mess. So we're going to turn three here. They're going to break check. Yep, called it. Yeah, the earliest to pit is about now, but I'm going to wait till lot 20. That's when everybody pits. Everybody pits around a lot of day in practice. A lot of people are pitting around lot 21. We're going to pit a lot of early. Some people do pit early. We're gonna, unless, they, unless some people are pitting here, then I will pit. We'll see. Looks like they're all staying out. So I'm gonna stay out. We're gonna put it next lap, lap 20. Oh, that's a good one to the inside for 21st. This is half the field. We're doing pretty good right now as far as moving up, but we're gonna pit the slot. Again, we're gonna pit early. Hopefully I'll get boxed in. Let's see some people up here pit. No, so I'm gonna pit. Oh, jeez. All right, I'm gonna pit. I'm pitting early. Uh, this, this is a good. Sh oh yeah, some people are pitting behind me. Slow down. Okay. Yep, some people are pitting behind me. We got some fresh tires for you, driver. We're ready when you are, pal. All right, four tires in field. Let's get into it. Go first stop. Okay, boys, be safe and smart. Here we go. Yeah, the car's handling great, but luckily with us pitting early, we'll, we'll be out of the mess. At least I hope so. Remember, I was the first on pit road. And it looks like I'm going to be first now leading pit road. Today. Awesome work, guys. Awesome work. All right, awesome. Doing great, buddy. So Good first stop, out the pits. They're going to they're gonna be, they're gonna be slow exiting the pits. We're not. We're going to stay on the bottom as much as we can. All right, let's see how it all plays out. 
All right, coming off the turn four. Looks like we're going to psych him out of the top five. Rakoslowski now is just exiting the pits. I think those are the five up there. And, yep, what if now leading the way? It looks like we're going to psych him out in six. Maybe fifth here, but looks like we're going to psych him out in six. So, pretty, pretty happy for where I am right now, but... Again, we got a long way to go. That's the, that's the first cycle of stops. A lot can change. We may get a yellow. That'll bunch things up. We'll see. I'd like it to go green to see if I can run them down, but it looks like we're a quarter into the race. Not a lot has changed. A little messed up there, but got a little bit of a buffer between Kozlowski and Hamlin. Kozlowski is in the chase. Hamlin is not, so... I'm going to use this time to see what my car can do in clean air. Off of turn two, ran down Brad Kozlowski. We're going to try to go to the bottom, or go, probably go to the outside here. We ran down Brad, took almost the whole race, but we finally ran him down. Looks like we're going to pass him. Here we go on the outside. This for top five. Oh, boy! That, oh, yep. Down. Yellow. Wall pop got me there. That wasn't my fault, the wall pop got me, and back, good, re good, good camera angle, Fox. I like that replay angle. Yep, the wall got me there. Now let's Turn see if the front guy's out. pit. You come in? They're coming, I'm coming. Looks like they all are, so I'm coming. And yeah. Alright, here we go, on the pit road. All four tires are warning you need some gas, and I also think you can use some more tape. Okay, buddy, we're ready for you. All right, everything's gonna be the same. Okay, boys, here we go. All right, here we go. Decent stop. All right, let's see what happens here. So we're gonna cycle out second. I'll put road. I know a couple guys stayed out. We are 10. Alright, so Paul Menard, Dave Reagan, and Kyle Larson stayed out. Let's see. Chase Elliott gets the free pass. John, uh, David Gilligan and Josh Wise get the wave around. Brad Kozlowski, who was around the top five, is back at 41st. I did not mean to do that to him. Well, who knows, but now this one's getting intense because now we're in the checkup lane. So, not where I wanted to be, and I got my teammate behind me. I got two teammates behind me, so... Alright, here we go! Nice pitch stop, right there, just like we practiced. Okay, let's get back in that rhythm. Let's go get these boys. We're gonna have about 60 laps to go, so again, a lot can happen, but... Like I said, I'm in the checkup lane. Not where I wanted to be, but it is what it is, so... Here we go, first restart of the race. And... Back to racing! Yeah, now you know why I don't want to be in the checkup lane. That's exactly why. Luckily, I dodged the bullet. I think out the door will be okay. Okay, we get to the bottom. Actually, that turned out pretty decently. Oh, boy. That turned out pretty decently. I was able to get to the inside pretty quickly. Exactly what I wanted to do. Just to get to the bottom quick. That turned out pretty nice. That might be the best restart all day if I ever get stuck on the outside lane again. That might be the best restart the whole race. We'll see. Remember, a lot can happen. Especially early in the race. And we're almost halfway through. Oh, I hit the apron. Oh, boy! Oh, okay. Could have slid in there, but it is what it is. But... Oh, boy. Not I can do when they check it. Oh, they're going to... Harvick slowed up. Again, Harvick's on the round of 12 also. Jeff Gordon is. Looks like Ryan Newman checked up back there. Car getting a little tight, but that's okay. Paul Menard is not in the playoffs. I think Carl Agros just kissed the wall. Just kissed it, but we're okay. Oh, yeah, they checked up a lot on the inside. Ooh, ooh. Oh boy, I got lucky! That, that was almost a 
around, so I gotta lock you. That was close, but again, we got we got a long race. A lot can happen. That almost happened there. We almost got turned, but we got lucky somehow. Oh, jeez. Board stacking up ahead, Junior. Junior? Oh boy, yeah, this game way too intense. We're about the 17th. And it's all because of that wall pop that happened earlier. We're up the 17th, back to 17th. We were in the top 10 at one point. Oh, the pin. Right, I'm gonna stay high. I was prepared for the check. I know who was pinning. Looks like Danny Reagan and Paul Menard are pinning. Keep that momentum. Keep that momentum. The guys that stayed out during the previous caution are coming in. That's probably the dumbest strategy. I don't know why they stayed out there when he could have easily pitted with everybody else. But, I mean, hey, it is what it is, but we're in the top 15. And remember, if I win this race, I'm on to the round of eight, the contender rate, as they call it back in 2014. Oh, more cars ping! Oh, boy! Almost wall, more wall popping, but now we're in the top 10. We have a chance underneath Carl Langworth to Clint Boyer also. Oh, turn, 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 turn. Clint, don't wall pop. Okay. We're trying to slide right in front of Tony. There we go, slowing down. Oh, jeez. Sorry, Clint. All right, we're in, the, we're in seventh in the top ten. The smartest strategy in the world, the dumbest strategy in the world. This goes green. Big if it goes green. How's Michael Waltrip in the top five? How's that possible? Good run for him, though. Right now, almost halfway through the race. Remember, a lot can change. We may get another. Oh, geez. Coming low. Okay, we got lucky there. I'm pretty sure. I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure Wade was in the chase. I know Count Harvick is. Oh, jeez. I remember if I win this race, I advance to the round of eight as well as Kevin. Carl, you better not wall pop. Good boy. Here we go. Try to get underneath Michael for a top five position. We're going to do just that. Harvick's going to check up. Free spot. And we're up the fourth place. Oh, jeez. All right, we're up the fourth. Happy belly. And okay, we're almost halfway through. This might be a little early, but welcome to Mart's Big Race Report. Um, so we just had our, well, we stay in the 30s for the start of the race. And we worked our way up to, I think, 22nd, 21st, halfway through the field. Then we went down pit road, get some four tires, we paid it early. And... We made our way up to six. So that's pretty good there. We gained about, what, 14, 15 spots on pit road by pitting early. Which is always nice. And we're halfway through now. We just had a restart, trying to get to the outside of Brad. The game wall popped me. Luckily it happened early and not with two to go coming to the white flag like what happened last week. So it happened early, but that's our only yellow of the race. Halfway home, buddy. And we're halfway home. Remember, if I win this Clear race, I advance to the round of eight, starting at Martinsville. All right, your door. Down low. Chase on the bottom of me. I'm good. I'm well aware of that. Inside. Luckily, no wall pop's going to occur. Still inside. Get before we get three. Looks like I Clear will. Yeah, and the goal, like I said, the goal to start this round is to get locked in early, either here or next week in Kansas. Just so when Talladega comes, I'll have to worry about having to win to get locked in for the next round. We can obviously pour a win, but I don't know if we're going to get a good finish at Talladega. So, I would like to get locked in early, either today or next week in Kansas. But right now, the car's handling great. Not a lot has changed. We're going to keep, like, like we have been all season, we're going to keep the same adjustments like I started the race. 
I mean, it's getting a little tight, but to be fair, the reason why it's getting a little tight is because of dirty air. But other than that, it's handling like good for the, for the majority of the race, so. Yeah, I, I, without further ado. Time to hustle. We're going to get past. Well, well, I'm only a second back. Or is, I'm only a second half car. Just chill the fuck out. But anyway, this has been more Speed Race Report. Carlos got slowed up with Matt Kenza. We're going to try to get to the inside of him. This will be for a podium position. We are on the inside of him. We'll try to, here we go, we're on the inside column for a podium, third place. we we'll slide right in front of or at least try to. He's going to get back on me on the outside. Car outside, at your door. And we're going to have to pit soon. So it's going to depend on what everybody else pits, because then I'll pit with them. I know if Kyle was going to run the top or not, but again, we're going to have to pit soon. I'm going to, I'm going to go on when the, the guys up ahead of me pit. So that's what I'm going to go off of. If they pit, I'll pit. Second, you made up on the driver in front. Way to go, but buddy. We have ran down the Gibbs cars. I'm in between the Gibbs cars. Now we're going to get to the inside of Kyle, or try to. So far, no one's pitting yet. Kids of my checked out. I was well aware. And on the podium, got by Kyle Bush. We beat one last week, and a lot of cars pit there, so. 40 laps to go. We're going to have to stop one more time. After this one, obviously, we're going to have to stop one more time. I think Kyle's going to get underneath me. Yeah, we're going to pick this lap. I'm pretty sure the wheels up ahead are going to do the same. Car in front, heading to the pit. Well, there it is. Car inside, just looking. Yeah, Ken's is coming in. Easy, man, easy. Speeding on pit roads is all we need right now. All right, we're going to lose the spot, Pedro, but that's okay. Uh, we're going to fix the car. We got damage to the right side. But other than that, they're just going to be the same four times with fuel. In the grass! I can't move. I said I was in the grass, but here we go. Make it count, boys. Be ready. Be ready. That might be a yellow. I'm not entirely sure. Well, I know that's going to be a yellow. We're going to wait and find out. We're going to make our stop. So far, it's still green. I saw Santa House coming onto the track. I don't know. Let's see. It looks like we're still going right now. Okay, go boys. Nice pit. Okay, go All right, what a pit there. We're going to be catching the arrows out of the pits. Well, I want to stay on the bottom lane. I want to be a gentleman. All right, we're going to be the leader. Beautiful scenes of glorious emotions. We're going to be the leader. Again, on pit road, we're going to be the leader. Williams going to exit out of the pits. Will I be in by pitting early? Looks like I will. We're going to be the leader. On pit road, we are now the race leader. Finally. Took us 63 laps. We're now we're leading the way. Looks like Kyle Larson gained a couple spots as well by pitting, but then again, he pitted later than, it, than all of us. But now we got the holy door ourselves, so now it's time to relax. Alright, coming off of turn four, here's the 20 to go on board here for the round of 12 opener here at Charlotte. Um, okay, 20 to go. Still holding a decent lead. It's been around two and a half to around three and a half seconds. But the car's starting to get bad. I think what if is starting to close me in, which is not good for me. <laughs> But we're still holding a decent lead. We're going to have to pit in about the next five laps, I believe. We're going to have to make our final stop. Okay, we dodged a couple bullets, but... We're okay. We're going to make our final stop in the next few laps. We're going to stay out here in case the yellow comes out. So that's what we're going to do. It worked last time. We st or it worked. Before the first yellow, I stayed out. Well, I caused the only caution, but I already know. I didn't spin the same, but we're going to pin the next few laps. We're going to stay out as long as we can. Hope we get a yellow, but if we don't, it is what it is. But yeah, without further ado, we're going to stay out until we pit or yellow. Come, all right, heading into turns one and two. We're going to pit this time. The gas sink's really low, so we're out pretty much. We're going to pit the slot. As you see, it's getting pretty low. We're going to pit here. 
We got five stop. Oh, don't get run over. Okay. All right, we're gonna take our time. Get down pit road. Don't speed. All right, take our time. There we go. I think we should change those tires out. Okay, let's make this work. That was a big gamble to go down long, but pretty good. Four tires are feeling. That's it. Ready, ready. Give me a fast stop here, guys. Pretty decent. I like that. And here we go. Nice job, boys. Great pit stop. Like I said, we got a real good car here. Just take care, everybody. Right, I'm just gonna take Stay our time. Buddy. Not over yet. We're gonna take our time getting back on the racetrack. All right, pretty decent stop. We saw that I had a good couple, two couple of live cars right in front of them. And yeah, we should be good for the rest of the race. In case we get a caution, we'll be ready to go. And yeah, we got about 10 laps to go, so let's relax here for a the back straight away, coming to two laps to go. Not a lot has happened since the pit stop. I got an eight second lead. Let's try to stay in this little group till, till the qualifying lap, which is this time by. Two to go here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. And a spot in the round of eight. Right now, it's a qualifying lap. Got to get around as fast as possible. Try to get back around for the white no flag. No matter if I win, I advance to the round of eight. I try to get back around as fast as I can. Don't wall pop. That's all I want. All right. Off the turn four. One lap to go for a spun round of eight. Pick your lane, buddy. This is it. Here, once again, like we did in the round of 16 opener, we're going to do the same thing here in the round of 12 opener. Get a win and advance to the next round. So, I don't have to worry about Kansas or Talladega. Down the back stretch, I go, hang the three. And off the turn four, we are going to advance to the round of eight with a win here in Charlotte. Yes! Redemption for what happened last week where I wall pop with two to go. That cost me the win. Could have gone, could have won four in a row. But we got redemption here at Charlotte Motor Speedway in advance to the round of 12. Like we did at Chicago, the first race of the chase, we advanced to here, the round of 12, with a chance at the title. And now we have advanced to the championship race. Or not yet. We, we got to do it at Martinsville in order to get ourselves in. But our, but our chances at the championship are still alive. Uh, way to go. I'm trying to enjoy this trip. Didn't last. Get on pit road. <laughs> I tried. Let's try. I'm about to try strip on the pit road. Get on pit road. Wherever that is. All right. Let's get on pit road. All right. <laughs> we have advanced to the round of eight. Oh yes. Took us almost the whole race, but there we are. Yes! <laughs> Our chances at the tile are still alive. Yes! Alright, let's take a look at the results to see where the other 12 finished, if I remember. I barely led the most laps over What If. What If led 33. I won, he finished second. Matt Ken's at third. Clint Boyer, fourth. Kyle Bush, fifth. Carl Edwards, six. Ryan Newman, seven. Jeff Gordon, eight. The Dinger Knight at Stenhouse rounds at the top ten. Good finish. 
I think I see... I think, uh... I think I see six or seven, maybe eight, in the top ten, which is pretty nice. Brad Kozlowski leads 23, Tony Stewart 11, Kozlowski leads 23, he finishes 12, Michael Walter, great run, finishes 13, Kevin Harvey 14, good finish, Casey Kane 15, um, Ryan Blaney 17, Martin Trix Jr. 19, and Try Hard Jr. rounds the top 20. Uh, Kamikaze 21st, uh, let's see, all still in 25th. Day Hamlin with the fastest lap finish, 26. Joe Legato, not good, 27th. Uh, Craig Biffle, not good for him. He finishes 28th. And Michael McDowell, right at the top there. Again, still two more chances to get themselves in. Michael Birch, 31st. Uh, Boob the Booey, 33rd. Uh, Chad Yaley, 35th. The Danica, 36th. Kyle Larson, 38th. And Josh Wise, right at the top 40. Along with Dave Reagan, David Gillen, and Chase Elliott. So how many cars end up on the lead lap is the real question now at this point. I think somewhere around 20 ended up on the lead lap. Oh, it's 22. Almost half the field ends up on the lead lap. And I think Brad Kozlowski, what if and I were the only two leaders, or only three, that led the entire race. Looks like us three are. Oh, Paul Bernard led six laps. Okay, there we go. So that was us four that led the whole race. And again, we only have one caution. Alright, so let's see the group, or the playoff grid, for the round of 12 drivers. Alright, so here are the round of 12 drivers. So, uh, as you see here, we're locked in the round of 12, or to the round of 8, sorry. Really good there. And let's see, and remember, this is the cut line, the round of 8. Dale Jr. is 5 points below. And yeah, we still got a long way to go. A lot could change. It's separated by. Hold on. Something's not right. Yeah, uh. Montrix Jr. is actually ninth. The Jr. is 10th. So I don't know what the hell happened there, but. Hey, this happens with Mike Roots also, but his is on PC, mine's on PlayStation, so. So actually, Martin Truex Jr. is four points below the cut line, and Dale Jr. is five. So still pretty tight, but other than that, like I said, we got a long way to go. We only got Kansas next week in Talladega, which Talladega, anything can happen, so. This is why I want to get my spot into the next run early, because the Talladega, if we run last, which happens at Talladega, I like to get in early just so I don't have to worry about moving on. Luckily, we have, so. I always want to get locked in early, and we did just that, so. All right, fellas, so that's it. Next week is Kansas, the halfway point of the round of 12. Still two more chances for the other guys to get locked in. Uh, we got Kansas to Talladega, and then we got the round of a opener in Martinsville, so... Again, a lot can happen. As far as paint schemes, uh, I'm not entirely sure what car to go with. Probably the Pro Service car. Probably gonna go with that. Should've won with that car last week, but we'll probably go with that again just to give it some redemption. But anyway, that's it for me, fellas. Hopefully y'all enjoyed today. Next week will be the halfway point of the round of 12 at Kansas. Will I go back to back again, or will somebody else add the 12, or add the other 11 will have a chance to move on, so, along with me. But anyway, we ended here. We'll see you all next week in Kansas. As always, have a good day, everyone, and take care.